Okay, so here I am. I've got a piece of inch and a half material, just the HREW in this case, um, just because it's an engine cage. Uh, I'm not using DOM for this project, but um, anyways, I've got my cut wrappers here. Uh, um, there's my bend recipe. Um, so I'm just going to mark this tube real quick at my cut length and I'm going to cut it 67 and a 16 67 and 7 16 sorry 67 and 7 16 so I wanted to show real quick it's a handy little thing I don't remember who I think I was watching a YouTube video one time but uh, this is just a piece of cardboard and it's got a nice straight edge on one side and so once you mark your uh, once you mark your your length and I even do this for rotations and I'll, and I'll explain why here when we get that far but I just line it up on my line and wrap the tube and make sure the edges of the cardboard line up and then mark it all the way around um, you know for for this this is just cutting the length so it's really not that critical, but um, when, you, when you start bending um, in multiple planes, so you're, you're rotating the tube in the bender, if you only have your mark just on a, a small section of the tube, then as you rotate it, you'll, you'll lose that reference point of what you're lining it up to in your bender. And so it's important to wrap and mark the tube all the way around. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but you know, I've got a nice clean line that goes all the way around the tube. And so even if I rotated it, you know, 270 degrees in the bender, I'm still gonna have a line um, to, to line my die up with. So anyways, just a little tip. All right, so I've got it cut to length here. My, uh, my bend recipe calls for 67 and 7 sixteenths, and that's what I have here. So the, uh, the next thing I like to do, since this is, you know, oily material, I've got some simple green, just spray it on a towel and clean, clean it up. So it doesn't, uh, I don't know, it's just something I do. It's probably not necessary. It's up to you. Okay, so when you start getting into more complex bins, what I like to start off by doing is just marking the start of the tube. So I just put an S, like this is the start of the tube. That's the start side, that's gonna be the end side. So from the start side of the tube, I'm just gonna start marking my, uh, marking my, uh, according to my bend recipe here. So I've got a cutoff start, so I'm gonna mark five inches. And this is just extra material for my design. Uh, you know, like I said, going through my bender, I added some material. Um, so I'm gonna mark five inches and then I'm gonna say cut, just so I have a note, I'm cutting that off. So then I'm going to start marking my bends. So 7 and 13 sixteenths. Eighteen and nine sixteenths. And fifty and thirteen sixteenths. And then I'm going to use my uh, handy little cardboard here and I'm going to make some marks because we're, we're going to be rotating this tube in the bender and so we want a mark that travels all the way around the tube. Um, so no matter what angle we end up having to rotate this thing, we're going to have a nice clean line. So let's mark all three of these. It's just a little extra step here it takes a little bit of time but it's uh it makes it a lot easier in the end 
for me at least. All right, there we go. We've got our cut mark, which I didn't wrap all the way around the tube. I'll mark that one in a second, but here's my first bend mark, second bend mark, third bend mark, and then I've got the tube marked for start, just so, you know, sometimes I've messed that up where I'll, where I'll uh, you know, mark my three bend marks and then I'll insert the tube in the bender backwards and then your part just gets all screwed up. So um, so anyways, it's always a good thing to, to mark the start side of the tube so uh, you eliminate the risk of, of forgetting or flipping the tube around or whatever. So I wanted to illustrate something else that's pretty important here. So if you can see on my, uh, my bend recipe here, I've got a, it says cut off, I don't know how well you can see that, but it says cut off start five. So Bentec gives you the ability to um, add inches of material to your design. Um, say for example, if your first bend was only like two inches from the end of the tube, and sometimes that happens, um, then then with the limitations of your bender and and just i'm sure most of us know this but i just wanted to illustrate this so with with the limitations so if this is my bend line that i'm on the edge of my die i i line everything up off of the edge of my die that's how i do it then you can see that my clamp and my my bolt here you know, the material has to be at least that long in order, to, so in this case, you know, like three and a half inches or so um, for, for my bolt to actually grab that material. So, you know, it's just another, <coughs> excuse me, it's another cool feature that they, <coughs> excuse me, that they've added to their software to, um, you know, and in my case, like I said, if we do the math, my first bend location was at two and 13 sixteenths um, because I've added five inches to it. Um, so, so now my new bend uh, location is actually seven and 13 sixteenths from the end of the tube. And I'm going to cut that five inches off after the fact. Um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, it's just like I said, it's important because of the limitation on on a bender um you know and in my case this is a model 54 it's an awesome bender but you know i just like i said i wanted to illustrate that point 